So these are gulf shrimp. Yeah. Uh, we they, get them at our local meat market in Houston. They've been sucking on our. They've been sucking on our oil way. tankers. <laughs> but there's the nothing the like end. a good old Gulf shrimp. Okay, so gumbo is that's what you start with. You start with the roux, um, it, and that's what makes like the gravy of the gumbo. And used to, mother and daddy used to always make the roux. And I'm sure cooks do, you know, can make roux for gravy and things like that. But here is a very simple way of just buying a, the jar that's already done. Is this a good brand? They're all good. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. That way you don't have to burn your roux. Exactly. You don't have to burn it. So you just put... Um, the roux is flour and grease. Right. It's, it's what? The roux is made with flour and grease. Uh-huh. Yeah. And why did y'all stop using making your own just because it was well, more simple to do this? Some do. It just takes more time. Yeah. Because you have to slowly stir it, not burn it, but get it. And it's really not hard. any better. No. If you do it yourself. Because that's what this is in the jar. In the jar, <laughs> right? Now my brother still makes his own roux. You know, he's a cook yeah. and yeah. chef. He loves to cook. So well, he's but, a little crazy. Huh? <laughs> he's a tad crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he's a good cook, though. Okay, now what? So, we, we'll do the roux, but in what we're going to do first is just kind of uh, put all our vegetables. Okay, so let's see what goes in it. We have celery, chopped up celery, and there's green onions, mm -hmm. and then this is um, white just onion. white onion, and these are uh, bell pepper. Okay. And, of course, we have chopped up garlic. All right. So, these, will be, these are going to be our vegetables. And also in gumbo, we put okra, cut sliced okra in it. And I always just, I've get the always frozen. just, yeah, just get the frozen already chopped up. And I've always just put it in kind of one of the, before I put the shrimp in, I do the okra. But mother now, it's, you know, cooks learn something new every day. So, yes, if you sort of fry the okra before you put it in, it keeps it from being uh, slimy. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. That's a good thing to know. So now yeah. what? So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and just kind of saute the vegetables. And then I'm going to mix up um, the, I'm going to use the seafood stock, some seafood stock, uh, maybe a couple of these. And I, I, I always put um, chicken broth in mine also. Um, so just give it more flavor. And then you just, you just, um, season it to taste. I use garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, salt, you know, just to season to, to whatever taste you want. That the word okra, gumbo is okra. Hmm. That's the meaning of, the meaning of gumbo is okra. Well, good. We like okra. So it's not really. So you, what do you have in the bottom of this pan right now? I just put a little bit of that oil from the roux. Oh. So I thought maybe that would be good. To, okay, so I'm just going to go with the onions. A lot of onions. A lot of onions. I love onions. Mm -mm -mm. I'll stir it. Okay. While it heats up. And you cook these for a while before you add anything yeah, else? Or? Yeah, just that and the uh, garlic. Add the garlic in. But you know, garlic can burn, so you gotta oh, yeah, be careful. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that. Okay, now you're gonna add. This is the bell pepper. Okay. And celery. Uh huh. And then just saute this for yeah, a while. Yeah, saute that a little bit. Oops. And then we'll we'll add the, uh, I'll add some of the stock to it. Before I do the roux, I just get, you know, get it a little wet. So, you get this delicious smell of <sighs> onions and bell pepper and garlic and celery. celery. And that's sort of the trifecta for yeah. Cajun cooking is because they don't do carrots. There's no carrots in here. You know, you mm -hmm. think of onion, celery, carrots, and you, cook, you need to let this go. And then you add a bay leaf. You add bay leaves. When one you sip of liquid. Uh, when you sip the liquid in, 
the rear. I usually like to put that in. Even. I wish you could smell this. You nearly got all those shrimp done? Oh, Five pounds of shrimp. <laughs> How many more? <laughs> now you're adding the seafood stock. Stock right now. Mm -hmm. mm. So you add the roux last? No, just get all this kind of going and, you know, the, the stock with the vegetable flavor. And then I just, I actually mix the roux in another pot with some with um, some of the stock and some of the, the chicken broth. Yeah. And then I'll pour it in here. I just like to get it really good and um, mixed rolling, together. Like a rolling boil. Yes. Yeah. And then I'll put it in here. I'll put it in this pot. Mm. So, and then we'll put the, we'll do the okra mother. Yeah, we, we do the okra. Yeah, we'll do the okra and, um, and then of course the shrimp. And oh, we're going to use crab meat. And you don't put that in till last. Till last, yeah. Because so it'll have, overcook fast. Well, the shrimp especially. But this is uh, lump crab meat that we got at the uh, HEB. So, we'll put that in. Um, so we just use in our seafood gumbo, we use shrimp and crab meat. You know, people. some people like oysters in it. Some people put fish, but we just generally like shrimp and crab meat. Another little you, trick. When you make, uh, cook your potatoes for potato salad, pour the water in and use it as a stock for a uh, the gumbo. For the gumbo. Really? Yeah. Like vegetable stock? Yeah. Hmm. It would thicken it, I think, yeah. with the starch. How's that coming along? Mmm, that's smelling good. It is. And it's just, just the beginning of it. So you microwave the roux? Yes. Because, I mean, it's it has the oil the grease on the top, so you want to get that all stirred in. And, and it's hard and to it's stir. it's hard, right? It's, it's, I mean, you know, look, this is what it is. It's like... It's like that. Once you get it all stirred in, there's the the flour and all. So you just get that all stirred up, and then you put it in your pot. So here is the roux after I've let it. Um, You've added a lot of juice. A lot of juice to it, and the juice I used was the uh, some of the the uh, chicken stock, chicken chicken broth, and the seafood stock. Well. So that added that to that, and then of course um, I added garlic onion powder garlic powder salt black pepper i added that to the roux mix because it's never enough for you <laughs> well you have it has to be the right taste and you then know. you have to taste it right yeah, you do you have to so you want to get the bitterness out of it that's the key with the roux so but once you cook it like this for a while is the bitterness out of it this? gets kind of the bitterness is yeah it gets the bitterness out after it cooks for You've a while in that, it. of course. You have to have, a, you have to taste to, to see, you know, you to, to see how, how much seasoning you want in it. Some people like it salty, some people, you know. Well, she's saying she can't tell you any measurements, so why are we even doing this video? Well, they can learn how to cook it and then just season it however they want. Oh, look at that shrimp. She's finished with the five pounds of shrimp. Say that again. <laughs> That's an unappreciated job. Are you not appreciated? No, I stood there for how many hours cleaning <laughs> five pounds of shrimp? <laughs> Hour. So we're okay, gonna. So she says that this is now ready to be poured in. It's a delicious looking. Mm -hmm. I, hope it, I hope I can do it. So we'll just go low with it here. Yeah, and just pour it into the vegetables. Mm. Oh, look at that. Ooh wee. Get all the goodness. Oh, Everybody's in the pot. Now we'll just stir it. We're gonna just stir it in and just let it cook a little more. So we're not gonna put any, we're not gonna put the okra or anything in right now. We'll wait a little while for this just to kind of, those flavors to marry. And is there fire in here? It should be. There's not. There's not fire. What are we doing here? I don't know. We don't want it up too high. Kind of simmerish. Right. Here we go. So what do you think? Well, it's almost gumbo time. Yeah. 
So you fry this okra just to stop the slime. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, just fry it a little bit. Kind of saute it, not really frying it, just kind of sauteing it. And that yeah. stops the slime. That's what the last two or three times I've made it. Someone suggested this. Mm -hmm. And then you can put a little, like a tablespoonful of vinegar in here, too, and it cut, cuts. In the uh, gumbo or in the... You can put it in okra. here, probably, anyway. Yeah. I've done just, in, you know, put it in the gumbo. So. It's time. It's time to put the shrimp in the, shrimp. the gumbo. Here are the shrimp. And they're going in the gumbo. They look like they're still frozen. No, but they're not. Look at that. Look at that. So 30 minutes before, and then you take it off the heat, right? Mm -hmm. just and just let the residual heat cook it. Mm-hmm. I get done, and then we'll put the other, uh, put the other crab meat. Mm. Put that in. Mm. And the okra's already in. Just, just put the okra in also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, come and dine. <laughs> Let's get over here to the the deliciousness. Gumbo, ladies and gentlemen. Watch me drop my phone in there. It's going here. Looks perfect. Mm. All right, what do we do? Tasty, tasty. Mm. 